What's up guys, welcome back to Shadabi Need TV. Today's another amazing day to get out there and we're gonna be better today than we were yesterday. And for today's video, I'm pretty much gonna be giving you guys five ways you can make your college experience a lot cheaper. <music> international student or you're already in college and pretty much your pockets you don't are hurting or you don't want it to hurt in the future so I've listed the top things that you know will benefit you if you're trying to make it a cheaper experience maybe you don't have the money or you don't want to spend the same amount as other people and you just want to save the most amount of money as much possible and I'm pretty much gonna be giving you guys in this video if you're new to the channel be sure to hit the like button and subscribe button because I'm always bringing out daily content that's gonna benefit you and your college experience in the future so the first thing that I would highly recommend you to figure out is pretty much deciding what your major is early this will save you a lot of time and money because if you decided what your major is earlier on you won't have to spend extra money taking other classes that you won't benefit you because for an example whenever i initially started college i went in for a business degree two years in i decided i didn't want to do that i wanted to do engineering but because of that a lot of the classes that i were taking that were business related that were toward my completion for a business degree now that i switch over to engineering a lot of it didn't count which means all the money that i put to spend on those classes even though i passed them it doesn't matter anymore. I have to take out brand new money to pay for new classes. But if I would have known from the head start, I would have been, you know, two years ahead in engineering and I wouldn't have to repay the same amount of money for new classes, but I would have just paid it for the first time. Not only that, after paying all that money again, I have to sit in class for another two years again to make up for the classes that I was supposed to take for those first um, for a semester. So if you haven't started college yet, be sure to choose your major, you know, as soon as possible. Figure out what it is you want to do because once you start, you know, you're paying money. It's coming out of your pockets. And if you change your major halfway through, just understand that you're going to have to go back and take all the beginner classes for whatever degree you did change to. And you're pretty much going to restart. So if you already took out a $5,000 loan for the first two years, now you got to go back and take out another five for this different degree and nobody wants to pay double for something they could have paid once. The second biggest thing that I would highly recommend you to do if you wanna make your college experience really cheap is go to a community college. So not everybody likes to go to a community college because you know, movies and TV and social media advertise the college experience going straight from high school into a university. But that's not the case for everybody. You know, you don't have to go to a university straight in. Maybe if you're an athlete and you know, you want to go play division one division so whatever it may be and you have to go to university that's a different story but if you don't have any of those obligations you will be perfectly fine finding a local community college that you can attend that is not expensive that you can do all your basics and then transfer out to your university and at the same time if you decide going to a community college be sure you choose your major already because once you transfer if you're wasting your time taking classes that doesn't benefit your degree, it's not gonna help. And if you're at a community college and you already know what university you wanna go to, be sure to go over there and talk to the advising and ask them which classes for your degree are transferable. So you don't waste your time taking classes that won't transfer. So you just focus in on taking the classes that that university actually takes. So whenever you transfer, you don't, you know, you take everything with you. I transferred having 64 credits, but my uh, University of Texas only took 43 of them. So that was a big blow to me because it pushed me back a lot when if I would have been taking the right classes, I would have been at 60% completed. So whenever you go to a community college, you know, the class prices may be uh, almost less than a quarter of actual university prices. As of right now at UTRGV, I pay almost 1500, 1200 per class, but at my community college, for a class of calculus that cost me $1,200 here, it cost me $200 or $300 at my community college in Houston. That's just a big difference that it does for you going to a community college. And at the same time, community colleges do offer scholarships also. So you can actually you know, finish your community college 100% paid for. The third thing I'd highly recommend if you wanna make your ex college experience cheaper is don't go to the expensive school. A lot of people chase all these expensive schools, even though they don't have money. 
Like, what's the point of getting a teaching degree at, you know, let's say Baylor, where you're gonna come out and make $40,000 a year, if you're gonna be stuck paying $150,000 worth of loans for the rest of your life? I don't see that as profitable because for the rest of your life, you're always in a negative aspect and you're never free from this bondage. I don't wanna do that. If you're going into Baylor for a medical degree that's gonna help you pay it off in three or four years, then by all means, that's a different story. But if you're gonna get a degree that's not gonna help you pay it off, don't do it because you're gonna have this chain on you for the rest of your life. It's gonna follow your kids and your grandkids and you know, it's a whole big mess. So find a good school that isn't too expensive and somewhere that you can pay off once you graduate in a few years. You don't wanna be stuck for the rest of your life paying something off that you're gonna regret. Ask a lot of people who went to expensive school. They'll be like, yeah, I went to Harvard, I went to this. And then they talk about, you know, how they've been paying their student loans for the past 25 years and how they wish, you know, it could be forgiven. You don't wanna be that guy or that girl. Just make the right decision and go to a good university that isn't too expensive because, you know, you can still find a job without having all that loans in your pocket. So now that, you know, maybe you are already at a college, the fourth thing I'd highly say to help make your college experience cheaper is to live off campus. If you ever been to a university or a college and you live at the dorms, those are probably the most expensive thing for any college student because whenever you're at dorms, they charge higher prices because that's the way the school makes money. For my dorms, I ended up paying almost $800 a month for one room that didn't even have a kitchen or my own restroom because I had to share with uh, the other person in my suite. But whenever I moved out, I'm paying nearly around $400 a month and you know, I have my own room and everything and it's so much cheaper living off campus than actually on campus. The final thing that's gonna help you save a lot of money is if you don't go out and get loans that you don't need. You know, once you get to college, you're gonna meet a lot of people who, you know, they get everything paid for with, they get the right amount of loans for like their school stuff and studies and to live. But then there's those kids who wanna, you know, do extra stuff, go on vacation with their friends, go enjoy spring break, even though they have no money. So they go back and get more loans, maybe 2,000, 3,000, just so they can go on a nice vacation to a different country or et cetera, forgetting that they're gonna have to pay this back in the future. So don't waste money that you don't have. Because if you graduate and you just added another $3,000 to your loan, because as time goes on, you know, it compounded interest adds up. And that 3,000 you may have borrowed freshman year, maybe 6,000 by the time you graduate. And was it really worth it for a one week trip? I wouldn't say so. So don't take money out that you don't need. And if you can, get a job of the size so that you don't have to 100% focus on loans because loans grow over time. And the last thing you need is paying a lot of money being a fresh graduate out of college. So those were my top five ways to make your college experience a lot cheaper. If you have another way that you have in mind, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Maybe somebody may benefit from it. But for my journey so far, these are the things that I've focused on and has helped me save a lot of money. And I hope it benefits you all out there. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Jadavadu TV is...